Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use tags and why we use tags in Unity. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date with everything on the JV Unity channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So, I have a scene here with two stars as we can see, and the idea of tags is we can use them to define a certain object, even if we have multiple of the same object. So, a good example would be... These two stars here both have their tags as untagged. So their master object, which is the cube they're going to rotate around, is untagged. They have no tag, nothing whatsoever. However, untagged is also a tag technically because you could have untagged as a certain thing. For example, everything that's untagged in your scene would disappear. So an example I'm going to use here is I'm going to have two stars with the exact same script on. However, I'm only going to make one of the stars rotate at first using tags. So if we create a C sharp script and let's call this tagging script, what we can do is to our advantage, we can use a tag to declare which one we have that we want to manipulate. So in doing so, what we'll need to do is actually have a quick if statement to check the tag. So in void update, what we'll do is we will have if and in brackets game object dot tag is equal to rotate, then we do the following. And basically let's just rotate it. So transform dot rotate and in brackets we'll have zero on the X we'll have one on the Y and we'll have zero on the Z and also we have to do it via space dot world. Now I've, I've dealt with uh, while well, we use space dot world before in a, another mini tutorial. Check that out if you want to understand why we use that. And let's save that script. Now let's attach this script to, the, to their, both of them objects and you can attach this to as many game objects as you would like. So all we need to do is just drag and drop that onto each star. Now, when we press play, nothing will actually happen. And the great thing about here is we can see that if nothing happens, then our script is going to function correctly. So there we go. Nothing is actually happening to these stars. So now let's check out these tags. To add a tag, you need to go to the tag list here, drop it down and click on add tag. You then need to click on the plus. Some versions of Unity may differ. They may have the list of tags here. I think if you're using an old version of Unity 5, it would have the list. Anything beyond Unity 2017 currently looks like this. So let's call this tag whatever we named it in here, which was rotate. So plus, name the tag, rotate, and hit save. And now when we press play, nothing will still happen. However, Whilst we're in game, we can actually set tags. So if we click on star 001, change the tag to rotate, it will start rotating. And this is an absolutely perfect way of manipulating tags in game. For example, we could have a button somewhere on screen. When we press, we change the tag to player, which would mean it stops. And we could change the tag on number two to rotate. So they could both rotate at the same time. And as you can see here, they're not rotating in unison. One is rotating at a different, well, same frame rate, but at a different frame. So if you get what I mean, this faces the front now, whereas this one now. So you can see it's not in sync, but both rotate. So we could turn the rotation off on that one, untag it, and it's turned off. And same with this one, like so. So the idea of tags is very useful when it comes to for, I don't know, triggers, for example. If you I don't know, have a gun in your game, you want to shoot something, but you only want the bullet hole to appear on a wall, then you would use tags to say, if the raycast is connecting with an object which has the name as wall, then create a bullet. If not, don't create a bullet. Because then you don't want a bullet hole to appear on, let's say... An enemy soldier you would want blood to appear on an enemy soldier and once again that is where you would use tags i cannot stress enough how important tags actually are they are so vital when it comes to deep game development for simple game development if you're creating a quick you know 
endless runner or something tags aren't too important in that but if you're going really in depth and creating uh, you know the next assassin's creed or whatever then yes tags are vital so guys i hope that mini tutorial has cleared up tags for you i know when i first started unity many many years ago i struggled a little with tags trying to get to grips with how i could use them but once you get to grips with them and you know what you're doing and you can manipulate them in game it, it works wonders for you in any project so guys hope that helps and i will see you in the next tutorial thank you very much for watching